it's early Monday morning and it is in so gray. I feel like I, I need to like get my voice ready. I went down and made some coffee and sat by the fire because it is so dang cold. There's frost everywhere. Um, and it's Monday. Happy Monday or whatever day you're watching this. <sighs> I love Mondays, but then also like waking up on a cold Monday morning when it's gray. It just affects me so much. So I have my little lamp on here to try to pretend that I'm in sunshine. I don't know. I can definitely feel the effects of being in central Illinois this year and it being completely gray. So it's exactly one week from when Jared and I get to go to Hawaii. And we've had this trip planned for a while in Oh my goodness, I am so excited. Like, Hawaii's been basically my number one place I want to go, besides Europe, for sure. Um, or in addition to Europe. I mean, they're very different, so. I'm so, so, so excited to go. So, going to have a busy work week. <laughs> so, um, like, a few things, like, work-wise... Um, we finished the 12 week program and the women that did that in my fitness app and completed it absolutely crushed it. Um, I had such good feedback on, on that, on the 12 week program and that's completely all done at home. If you want or it can be in the gym, but you don't need like gym equipment. Like you don't need a leg extension or anything like that. Um, you just need some dumbbells and bands. You can switch out dumbbells for like barbells for like squats and things like that. Um, but you don't have to have a gym. So 12 weeks of workouts will stay in the app. Those don't go away. Um, but this new year, I have an idea to not necessarily do, um, like another set program, but to have categories in the app. So like break it down and have more like core workouts, um, like in a section. So you can go there and they'll be all core. Um, or I really want to do a 30 minute section. I have a lot of women um, that have busy schedules and, you know, they're running out of the house in the morning and they said that they like um, quick and effective workouts. So I think I'm going to start creating a whole category where every workout is under 30 minutes. Um, so stay tuned for that. If you want to check out the app, you should. It's like a dollar or something for the first month. Yeah, it is a dollar um, to try it out for a month. So you should try that. New thing coming to Authentic Health Nutrition. Um, towards the end of the year, I kind of pulled back a little bit from one-on-one -on -one consults um, just because, you know, sh shifting some things in the business and, you know, trying new things and I have, you know, <laughs> multiple things going on. And so I actually have reached out and spoken with another dietitian that I know and I think we are going to start working together with Authentic Health. So bringing on another dietitian, um, super excited about that. So we'll see where that goes involved in community meeting more women and you know whatever that looks like i'm here for videos podcasts blogs emails whatever it is um that's some of my main goals i feel like i'm still literally half asleep okay i need to get to work and start my day so welcome to the vlog the vlog leading up to hawaii i'm so excited I feel like I need to do an intro when I'm more awake because this is not my personality right now. Okay, I'm gonna drink my coffee, I'm gonna wake up, and let's get our week, day, rolling. What is going on here? Okay, we're gonna go. I still am not ready for anything. It takes me a little bit to actually like get ready for my day. I like to be in my cozy, like I always set out um, a sweatshirt and a pair of sweatpants and like at the edge of my closet so that when I wake up, I can grab them, come downstairs, put them on because it's so cool. Turn the fireplace on, do my reading like with my devotional and then I usually try to read like a self-development um, or like business such book in the morning. Um, and then I do coconut and water, uh, or, hang on. 
that's not, that's not what I meant to say. First thing I drink is always coconut water and orange juice with some salt in it. I just like um, sprinkle a little bit of salt in it. And I'll dive more into it on my Instagram, like my hormone test. But one of the main things, um, my cortisol was just like completely depleted. My adrenals were just like completely in overdrive. And basically the doctor that I spoke with, um, he was like, you need to slow down. You need to make sure your adrenals are really supported. Um, to allow your cortisol because I was basically running on E basically is what was shown. So I'm going to dive into all those results so you can see what that actually looks like, um, on my Instagram upcoming in the future. I don't know. Um, so one thing that I'm doing is definitely drinking a ton of water when I wake up, but also drinking, um, the coconut water and orange juice first to get some really good micronutrients and electrolytes. Um, so like potassium is extremely important. Sodium is extremely important for our adrenals. Um, and I just drink so much water during the day and especially in the morning, um, like drinking coffee. That's like, that's a no go. So wait to drink coffee. So I've been doing that. Um, and it has made a significant, significant difference. I really feel so much better. I don't crash as much in the afternoon. Um, and then my workouts have changed too, which I can touch on, but I'm basically like doing what feels good. Um, more like Pilates styles. I'm definitely still resistance training, but not in a CrossFit anymore. Um, I used to do CrossFit and I just like really loved pushing my body like that, but it was definitely too much. I would crash in the afternoon. Like I would feel like mentally and physically fatigued the whole day. And I could tell that my body was just on E basically. So um, those are just a few things that I'm doing. So if you're feeling like that, I would definitely start your morning with something other than definitely coffee. Don't drink coffee first thing. And I mean, absolutely drink water, but can you put something in your water or maybe do like a coconut water, um, something to get some, some different nutrients in because our body really does need our electrolytes and our micronutrients and sometimes too much water. I mean, there's literally, there's nothing in here. Um, so water is extremely important, but I have noticed that doing that little morning concoction has really helped. So anyways, that's just a little touch, but now I'm going to eat breakfast and then I'm going to go up and get ready. So I always do my little morning routine. I go to my office, get everything organized because if I feel like if my mind doesn't feel organized for the day, I can't do other things. So like, I want to know what I have moving forward for the day, make sure like my emails are all read and everything's organized. And then I come down, eat breakfast, um, get ready for the day. And today I'm actually going out to a coffee shop um, to work and then doing a little shoot with Nicole and Above Able, um, the boutique that I do a little something with, a little work with. Um, so we've had a busy day. So I'm gonna eat breakfast and keep taking it through my day. Oh my goodness, I cannot wait to get some sunshine. Like I did like some fake like tanner lotion, which I mean, it's like super natural and like this light isn't even picking it up, but it's like significantly different than my face because I don't really put it on my face. Anyways, I need the sun. I am feeling it all over my body. But um, sharing what I have with breakfast, I feel like I get a lot of questions on just like things that I eat every day. Um, so I usually do like two full eggs and then I'll add some egg whites into an omelet and usually I'll just do like some cheese, sprinkle some cheese in it, make it like a little cheesy omelet. And then I always do, well, I've been, okay, not always. I always have a carb source, but have been on an oatmeal kick lately. So I just do, this is the apple and cinnamon. Steel cut, that's what I was trying to think. I couldn't think of the word steel. Um, so it's just this brand, Better Oats, um, steel cut. This one does have some added sugar in it, which um, just with like how much I was working out and everything, I that does not bother me like this little bit. But if that's something you're watching, they do have different um, types like in the Better Oats brand that doesn't have any added sugar. Um, so this has flax seeds. So it's the steel, coat, steel cut blend. Um, it's just really delicious. So I like that one. And then I have been adding a little bit of fiber. Um, this is vital. I can tag it down below. It's a whole fiber. Um, so it actually has about five grams. So yeah, just like a really good blend of a few different types of fiber. So it has about five grams. So I've just been adding a little bit of that. 
um, just to make sure I'm not lacking fiber in my diet. So I just add that to my oatmeal and then I put some peanut butter on it, a um, little bit of honey and that's my breakfast. I usually do, well, it kind of depends. It depends how much like oatmeal or something I'm making. Um, if I don't have an oatmeal or like a heavier carb source, then I'll definitely make sure I do a fruit. I try to get as many colors as I can for micronutrients. So every different color that you see, like banana versus a blueberry or a raspberry or something like that is a different micronutrients. That's why they have different colors um, because the micronutrient gives off that color. So trying to get different colors in every single meal, but with like a big bowl of oatmeal, I just get so full. And then so my mid-morning snack, I usually try to do like a fruit um, or try to get that color in there because I, if I'm really hungry, I'll definitely do like a fruit oatmeal and then a big thing of omelet um, size portion but I am just not that hungry right now. Um, so this is gonna be it. And then I have my micronutrient pack. This is a multivitamin. Um, I do two of these <clears throat> and I brought it so I can read it to you. Um, it has um, some fish oils in it, um, like CoQ10, lycopene, lutein. Those are just some antioxidant families. Um, just some like unique things. So like purple corn, um, purple corn, there's a lot of um, research on that and just like the anthocyanins in that, which is again, another antioxidant family, um, resveratrol, another antioxidant family. Um, so this is just really good for mitochondrial and cellular health. Like the research on this is fascinating. Um, so I take two of those and I take some stuff later in the day that I'll show you, but that is what I'm having for breakfast. Okay. Now I am in my bathroom and I don't know if you guys follow me, you probably know, but I have been doing Invisalign for like a month. Um, and today is my scans. And so I have this like cool thing at home. Um, I'm gonna show you because I've never seen this. And I, th I think it's so cool. So today, okay, so I need to do a scan. So I put my phone in here. Okay, let me remember how to, oh, there we go. Okay. Okay, so I click my phone in. And then make sure that is all aligned. If teeth freak you out, then Place your phone into the phone you can skip through this. Because I have to go like this. I <laughs> go like this. Did some makeup and put some curls in my hair. I'm gonna let those sit before I brush those out, but I have a call in like two minutes, so I'm back in my office. <sighs> Gotta jump on my computer and call real quick. Literally just said that. <sighs> okay, all good things are happening. All good things are happening. <sighs> Sometimes I just need to take a deep breath because so many things are going on. But I need to make sure I'm on top of everything. And sometimes it's really uh, hard. <laughs> but it's all that thanks. Okay, I'm gonna take this call and then we're gonna go to the coffee shop. I'm gonna bring all my work stuff. We're gonna meet Nicole and Mallory, the photographer. So I'll 
I'll show you guys that too. We're just rolling. It is now 11. Can't believe it's already 11. So many things. Okay. We need to work out later. I have a few more calls today. Okay. I'm rambling. Okay. See you at the coffee shop. Okay. But tell me why I feel so bougie. Is that, yeah, bougie in these dang sunglasses. They're like $10 from Amazon. Anyways. Okay. Oh, it is incredibly bright outside. Hey, we have sunshine. I literally didn't even, is this really loud? And you guys, okay. I didn't even realize it was sunny out. I was just complaining about how great it is. And now, okay, my butt is on fire. I have so much more energy now. Oh my goodness. Get yourself outside today and you'll feel so much better. All right, we are about to walk to the coffee shop. The one that we were going to go to is closed. And I love that one so much. It's half bookstore, like half coffee shop, half like there's wine and like finger foods and stuff it's just so fun to work there so we're gonna try a different one that i think is open so just wanted to pop in say we made it downtown um we have like a little downtown area in town we're gonna go in here we're gonna i brought my computer so we're gonna get some work done and then we'll do the shoot and i'll probably stay for a little bit and work some more over and out hello it is much later in the day it is five o'clock and it is very dark outside and it very yellow in this household right now. I have the fireplace on over there. And our yellow, our lights look so yellow for some reason. I don't know if it's just this camera right now. And why do I look so tired? What is up? I really am very tired though. I got home, I didn't show you any. Oh, okay. We're just gonna, we're just gonna restart. So we were supposed to shoot at a coffee shop and I was gonna work there. I was gonna have my calls. Apparently, coffee shops downtown Champaign are closed on Mondays. I don't know if it's like this New Year thing or what, but they were closed. They were closed. So we actually went to um, Broadway Food Hall if you're around the area. Um, and it actually worked out really well. We were able to shoot there. I was able to get poke for lunch. Um, literally didn't show any of that, so sorry. Um, I might have a picture of it, actually, of my poke. So, oh, hi, buddy. You're so cute. You're cute. Um, so I'm forcing myself to get up now. I should be done with, actually, that's a lie. I always say I'm done with computer work and then I just love being on my computer so I find out more stuff. Buddy, you wanna say hi? Buddy, you are so big. Come here. I don't wanna hurt you. Um, so I'm gonna go put on a ton of clothing and try to take these pups on a W-A-L-K around the neighborhood. Ow! He wants to say hello. Say hello. He's literally as tall as me when he stands up. You're not supposed to stand. That's not good. Can you sit? Sit. Good boy. Chick. That's my good boy. I love you. So anyways, I just wanted to come on and I'm talking like you guys are Instagram story. You're not. You're YouTube. Um, but I'm gonna go put on a ton of clothes. I'm gonna put sweatpants over my leggings and heavy sweatshirts over my, this sweatshirt. Actually, I'll probably just change completely. I do have a very long winter coat I'm gonna put on, but I put the dog's leash around my waist. Um, I have like one of those free walking leashes things where it like snaps around your waist. And that really helps because then I can keep my hands in my pocket. So anyways, I'm gonna go change and we're gonna get to walking. Oh, and. I'm gonna come back and I am gonna do an upper body workout. I did legs yesterday and my legs are incredibly sore. Not like incredibly sore, but they're pretty sore. I'm also a very dramatic person. Like if it's 70 degrees outside, I'm either gonna say it's 100 or like 50, depending on like if I think it's really cold or really hot. Okay, we're gonna get moving. Okay, we're back. I have my long leggings. I have a long sleeve under here. I have this sweatshirt because it looks extremely warm. Okay, and then we're gonna get my shoes on. Stop it, stop it. Okay, I had to go get my coat from my car. Okay, I used to have a, um, well I do have, I don't know where it is, but I got this really big coat from, or for Christmas, and it's off, it's from Amazon, and it is literally the nicest, okay, I mean, it's probably not like the nicest, but I absolutely love it. It literally goes all the way down 
to like my top of my, no, okay, not ankles, like mid shins. Can you guys chill for like five seconds? They're so exciting. Okay, so I'm gonna zip this coat up and somehow I'm gonna have to get, they were going psychotic. Just a second. Dang it, I hate when a sneeze goes away. Okay. Let me get, get out of here, dogs. Okay, let's get this coat on. Okay, I'm having troubles. You guys, chill. Okay, clearly I don't know how to put this coat on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we are gonna zip this baby. I'm sweating. What's happening? There we go. All the way up. We're gonna put these, these. Oh my gosh, there's a ponytail hole. Okay. <laughs> my point is not gonna fit through it. <laughs> okay. Head thing. Got it. Put the ponytail in the hair. Uh, what's this called? Hood. Okay. Okay, there we go. Okay, now I'm gonna put my AirPods in. Um, because then I'm gonna have to put a podcast on my phone and hide my phone somewhere. And then I'm gonna have to put the leash around my waist. But we're getting some movement in because I was feeling stressed and I can feel when I don't get movement in. I can totally tell the difference. This is not great lighting. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna come back to all of this because I am looking. Alright, see you later. Oh, oh. Okay, we gotta go. Okay, talking a little bit. Okay, we are back from the walk, and not me being completely and utterly dramatic, it really was not bad at all. It actually felt kind of good, and I ended up like unwrapping my scarf and taking down my hood and actually like embracing the cool breeze. So, not me being incredibly dramatic. But it's fine. It's fine. It is, oh my gosh, it's 6.15. I did get a walk-in, so that's great. I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna do upper body workouts. So I'm gonna make some pre-workout. We use P-Science. Um, I love the research that they do. Code authentic if you want a discount. Um, I was using them before that, by the way. Nice, don't care. Um, usually I love sour green apple flavors, but this is, I'm not gonna lie. It's just not, it's not doing it for me. But we're gonna continue to try. Okay, six o'clock. I get really affected by caffeine, so we're definitely not going to do a whole scoop. Or really any. Nope, not even that. We're gonna do like, can you even see that? See how a little that is right there. Okay, maybe even do a little less. <laughs> we're gonna do that. Okay, maybe a little more. And we're gonna eat a banana. Or maybe some rice cakes. Or maybe not. Okay. We're down in the basement gym. I went with a rice cake and Santi really wants it. But, anyways. Here she is. We put a lot of work down here. I think you can see. So we have our dumbbells. Um, that's our TV over there. I'm going to put some music on. Squat rack. We have a bench. And then this is like our ab machine and pull up. Um, and our bike. But put, we have put a lot of work into this over the two, last two years. Um, like during COVID actually is when I got my first set of dumbbells and they went from like three, they were like the three, five, eight pound. And so I was only able to do workouts in my apartment with that. Um, and it has now grown to this. So I love it down here. I'm going to show you, I'm going to turn off all the lights and we have like party lights, I guess you could say. But first I need to clean because 
um, on the black. So right behind the camera is the dogs area. So we have like blankets and cages and like um, like a gate. So if they're not in their cages, we can just gate them to make sure they don't chew on anything. Which you're literally chewing on. Come here. Come here. Okay, so Stark Bud was literally chewing on something. Um, but I got this little vacuum. Okay, it's like the little handheld. And it's no Dyson, okay? But like, that's just, we're just not, we're just not getting, we're just not doing that for right now. But this little guy, it is a Larisar, Larisar, L-A-R-E-S-A-R. I can tag it if you guys are interested. Um, oh my gosh, look, it just extended. Like, it's awesome. It's completely portable. It has like a little like touch screen here and it automatically will vacuum more if it feels like it needs more suction. So like, I'm not determining how suction the like how much force it's doing. It's doing it on its own. So I vacuum, I vacuum all of the dog's hair up. Um, Cause this obviously gets some dog hair on it and with a black surface. So anyways, I'm gonna clean, I'm gonna get my workout in and I'll show you guys. Show you guys workout. Okay, wow, that's super bright, that's my ring light. Um, just there, but Jared put in lights. Can you see that? Like lights around, oh, okay, I just switched. I just switched my ring light to coloring light. Oh, that's so cool. Ah! Oh my gosh, that's so cool, I wish you guys could see that. Um, and then there's these lights too that he put up, and the TV's not on, so. It's like a dang party down here. Okay. So you can see we have the TV or the lights behind the TV and it's just so fun. It's just so fun down here. Also, he literally can't see my head. Um if you like the idea of like Peloton or you want to try it, um, but you don't want to spend, I don't even know how much it is, $1,400 on a bike or whatever it is, um, just get a bike off Amazon. I think ours was like $250 or something like that. Um, I think we got it on sale, so it's like closer to $300, but I think it was like $240 or $250 on sale. Um, and then the Peloton app is like $12 a month. And I get all the classes and everything. And I know it's not like a Peloton with the screen, but it's that's something you wanna try. So I put the Peloton classes up on that TV and then my bike right in front of it with all the lights and you can do like flashing lights. And it's just a really good time. Okay, I'm stalling now. It is now 6.30 and I really need this workout. Okay, let's start with a warm up and we will go from there. my super easy dinner. I have a webinar going in the background, so I hope that's not super loud. I snacked on some yummy cucumbers and ranch dip, 
and then I, I love these edamame steamable bags. Their nutrition is absolutely phenomenal. So I just do like a big bowl with salt and I snack on those two. And then I did a chicken meal. Um, I think I might have an extra, let's see. Um, I think we do have an extra somewhere in here. Um, maybe not. So this is an example of some of the um, quick fresh meals. So this one is Dijon, Dijon mustard chicken. Um, so you can see the macros there. They're all listed. Um, I do work with them as a dietitian, And so um, that one's a breakfast one if you're interested in. Um, so yeah, we get a bunch of these meals and then we just have some of our other staples. But um, I have a code for them if you want to try them. Okay, it is now the next day. So it's Tuesday and I don't really know what I recorded or didn't record. I think I just broke my tripod. I don't know. We'll figure that out later. But today is a full work from home day again. Um, don't have to technically go anywhere, but I think I'm going to go out to a coffee shop since yesterday the coffee shops were closed. Um, let's go see if they're open today. And it is gorgeous outside. Clearly I'm in a much better mood because there's sun shining and it, it's actually kind of nice, like warm for Illinois. It's probably like 48 degrees, but I'm about to record a podcast that has been on my to-do list and this year I'm going to be a lot more organized with it. And that's just one of my goals as a business owner and some, like, I don't know if anyone watching this is in the same boat or whatever, but in, in whatever you do, but you have your like expertise that you still have to like remain. So like as a dietitian, I want to make sure I'm taking the time to like meet my client's needs, like make sure I'm educating myself enough, like weekly making sure I'm, you know, researching more on more webinars, like continuing ed, like I'll make sure I have that. Also meeting with my clients, making sure I'm giving them 100%. Also, like the customer service side and emails and educational posts and motivation and more of the like marketing side of things and then more of the like business side. So like making sure finances are good, making sure I'm up to date with my CPA, my licenses and all of the things. Um, it's kind of a lot. So one thing and one big goal I have this year is getting help and outsourcing and building a team that can help. Um, I, I'm learning that I can't do everything on my own, even though I kind of want to. Um, not that I want to because like I don't want to work with anyone. I definitely want to work with other people, but I'm very much so like when I have an idea, I want to do it and get it done. And so delegating, that's a good word, delegating. Um, anyways, that was just a little rant, but organizing and bringing people onto the team to help with all of that is a main, 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 main priority for me so I can help more women, be more organized with it, and um, grow authentic health how I want it to. So anyways, one thing to do and one thing I'm going to do is be more organized with my podcast. So if you're watching this and you want to be on a podcast, let me know. I want to interview and talk with people in the community, you know, people that are just, I don't, I don't know the right, like real people. I don't, I don't want to say that people with a ton of followers or, you know, anything like that aren't real people, but I want to talk with my neighbor and the woman that I met, mother of three at church. Like those are the people I want to talk with. So if you are watching this video and you have anything you want to share or you have a story you want to talk about or a topic you want to talk about, if you're an expert in something or if you just like talking about something, you created your own um, work from home business or whatever it is and you want to talk about it, I would love to talk about that with you. Um, I love hearing people's stories and I just think there are so many people out there and so many stories that deserve to be heard and hopefully I can be a person with like a podcast I can help with that okay anyways I think I'm gonna end the vlog here um because basically the rest of the day I'm just <laughs> working from home I have a lot of um computer work and like I said I think I'm gonna go to a coffee shop so if I do I'll maybe add a little bit in at the end but thank you guys for watching I know the day in the life isn't um 
super exciting right now, but it's the things that I love doing. And sometimes that means just waking up, eating breakfast, getting a workout in, and sitting down at a desk and working. And so I just want to show all of the things. Um, we leave one week from today for Hawaii. So the next video you'll see is Hawaii, hopefully. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. But thank you for watching. Um, all of your support means so much to me. And talk to you in a much warmer place next time. <laughs>